Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome back to the Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas series. This episode is for you space cowboys out there, as we will be adding a mod that greatly improves the effects for energy weapons. Of course, we're talking about EVE, Essential Visual Enhancements. I consider it a must-have for any playthrough. EVE not only adds textures to energy weapons, it just does so much more. Let's take a look. Like I said, it retextures many energy weapons and adds special effects to them, like hollow sights and custom muzzle blasts. EVE also changed many of the discharge sound effects for the guns to make them more unique and impressive. Death animations also got a needed upgrade to really give devastating effects to critical kills. But my favorite improvement by EVE has to be the explosions. They just look, well, damn cool now. I'll save my personal favorite for the end of the video. Before we move on to installing the mods needed for EVE in our game, I want to remind you guys that in our effort to keep modding free, I encourage you to donate to your favorite mod creators to thank them for their hard work. As part of Dirty Weasel Media's mission statement, a donation will be made to the EVE team upon release of this video. Alright, so let's get this installed to our game. I've got Mod Organizer ready to go. And we'll go to the internet and take a look at this. First things first, I want to just thank you guys. Borderless Windows Mode, one tweak in the hot files. Pretty cool. But uh, let's move on. So, EVE. EVE Essential Visual Enhancements. Done by the EVE team. Uploaded by Wydrison. And you can see it's got some really cool graphics. I love this category, Awesome Visuals. Okay, latest version 1.16.2. Date, May 19th, 2015. That's, that's the most recent update. Now, one of the things about EVE is that uh, up until recently, as in I had to scrap a video for EVE based off of the fact that the EVE author didn't like Mod Organizer and he didn't recommend using it. But fortunately for us, we have enough people that are Mod Organizer fans and they've updated it for us. At least, so make it a little easier to install anyways. So, uh, you can go through and read this description, you know, critical kill scenes, all this cool stuff. You know, basically, this is the essential mod for energy weapons and energy, you know, visuals. And a lot of them are really cool. So, what you're going to do is go to the files. I'll point out first, 42666. And you're going to go to the files, and you're going to go ahead, and you're going to scroll down one. You'll see Eve. 1.16.2. Don't get this one. This is not the one. Nexus Mod Manager or Fallout Mod Manager, not Mod Organizer. This is the one we want right here. E version 1.16.2. Mod Organizer. Mod Organizer. Go ahead and download that with Manager. And you can see on my Mod Organizer. And you can see it's right there. Good. Okay. So. The second thing we're going to need, let me go back and do this again. Project Nevada patches. Remember we have Project Nevada, at least I hope you do, because it is pretty much the quintessential mod for this. And you can see I have Project Nevada here. Some of those Project Nevada, and there's extra options. The, remember we didn't do extra options through the patches. We did it through extra options. Anyways, so... If you have Project Nevada, you will need the patch for EVE. And there's a bunch of other patches here. Uh, weapon mods expanded, uh, WME support, and EVE support. That's what we're looking at. And installation. I'll, I'll go over that with you. Anyways, let's go ahead and you go to the file section. And you come down, scroll down, and you see EVE support. I want you to remember some of these other things here. You know, WMX support, the DLC support, you don't need this. But uh, the EVE support is what we're after. Okay, we'll come back for the WMX support, or EVE support is what we want. So download with Manager on that as well. So we can go ahead and minimize that down. And open up Mod Organizer. It is right here. And installation is as simple as double-clicking. And you just have click a radio button to install it 
thing of your choice. Now, I, it has detected I have all five DLCs. If you don't, you may have four DLCs but not Gunrunner's Arsenal. Or if you have no DLCs or no match, you know, don't worry about that too much. It will pick it out for you. But you just know what you have, okay? I have all five DLCs. And as simple as hitting install. There you go. You can see it's at the bottom here. We will activate it. And this is, by the way, this is Mod Organizer 1.3.7. I waited on using the uh, newest version until they fixed all the little bugs. But I finally updated it. It works great. Use the installer. There's not much to do. I thought about doing a video on it, but it's so simple. There's nothing to it. What you'll do is go ahead and you can see when you highlight it now, when you click on it, you can see the things it's overwriting. Excuse me. You can actually see what it's overwriting. And on this handy toolbar here, you can see if it's missing stuff up here. It's like, we move this up here. You can see how the little green, you may not pick it up on YouTube, but the little green things will actually be on the bar as well. So it's, you kind of know where things are. You don't have to scroll up and down. But anyways, you can see it's overwriting Yuki Chigai, Unofficial Patch, Poco Bueno, uh, Weapon Retexture Project Combined, and Electro Cities. Okay. So you could, if you want them to overwrite everything, you could go ahead and move it up to right there. Okay? Now it's overwriting all these files. If you want to see exactly what it's overwriting, you go to Conflicts, and you see all the stuff that it's overwriting. It's overwriting the Electricity Flame Small Sub DDS. If you want to go look at that, you could. Okay? Under Yukichi Guys, First Person two-handed Ramus, whatever this is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I act like I'm smart, but I really don't know anything. Go and close that. You know, I'm fine with it. You know, Electro City having its own little thing, so I'm going to move it up. I'm going to put it under Weapon Retexture Project combined and uh, let it overwrite whatever it is. Okay, if you want to see what it what it's overwriting on a Weapon Retexture Project, it is the Magnum Pistol Casing. Eh, okay. And then, of course, Electricity is now being overriding Eve. And it appears in red because it's overriding Eve. See? It was overriding Eve before. That's how that works. I like this new system. I think it's pretty good. It's very easy at a glance to tell what everything is. I like that new system. Okay. The other thing, Project Nevada Eve support. We're going to go ahead and simply double-click to install. Now... You may have noticed that we can, let's just remove it and you see it again. Yeah, let's go and remove it. Let's uh, install it again. <laughs> now, you may ask, um, it didn't give me an installer. It just didn't even give you manual. It just kind of installed it. Yeah, it does that. I want you to highlight it. It doesn't change much. But I want you to double click it. Optional ESPs, Project Nevada, Eve, all DLC. That's exactly what we wanted. It automatically installed it. It recognized it and did it. It's just a quirk of the way it works. I wouldn't worry about it too much. It does work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and put it after Project Nevada. You know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. This is ignore, ignore that update because it's all 1.2. You know, that's how that works, is you know you've got the right thing if you check your optional ESPs, all DLC. If you go up to EVE, optional ESPs, all DLC. That's how you're going to check it. It's just the way the installer works. I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's just the way it does the things. Okay, so don't worry about it too much. Now we're going to go ahead and run loot because we want uh, our plugins in the correct order. And you see I have Fallout New Vegas ready to run. We hit sort plugins. And we take a look. Project Nevada. Well, I don't want really to like that there. We'll end up moving that. We'll end up moving that. It's not a big deal. We'll hit apply. So then when we come down, we'll take a look at this. Now it has Eve, Project Nevada, all DLCs at the bottom. I'm okay with that, except for Project or Eve, Project Nevada, Project Reality needs to be at the bottom. Loot says that that works fine. 
You could reorder your priority list based off of what loot says. I'm fine the way it is. I try to keep all my retexture stuff near the top. You know, there's my bug fixes and my NVSE plugins. I keep most of my retexture stuff up at the top. Don't worry about it too much, right? It's just the way it is. I'm fine with that. That's how I want it to run, and it runs just fine. Let's go in game and take a look at it. So here we are in game, and we have all of our stuff. We first thing we have is the laser pistol. You can see it has that cool graphic for the sight. It sounds really good. Okay, next up, plasma disruptor. Look at that texture. Look how cool that is. Yep, light lights up and has the little after effect glow. Yeah, that's nice. That's cool. And then finally. Whoop. Cycle through thing. Yeah, the big boy. There we are. I always like to end my videos with a bang. Here we go. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.